So the other day, my girlfriend bet me that I couldn't record 30 different species of big reef fish on my beta cameras in two hours. You do think I can do 30? Absolutely not. And I do like a challenge. So over the next two days, I'm gonna drop two cameras for an hour each on two different spots, and let's see how many species we can find. 30 species to find and two hours on the clock. Wish me luck. So the first fish of the day was this orange lined trigger that somehow managed to find a big scrap of fish that must have fallen out of the bait cage. Unfortunately for him though, he was soon mobbed by a load of other fish, including this peacock grouper, although it didn't seem to take him too long to find another bit. There was also a massive school of humpback snapper swimming around, and they were accompanied by a pair of raccoon butterfly fish, so named because, well, they look like raccoons. On the topic of fish with imaginative names, the fifth fish of the drop, and the second triggerfish so far, was this black triggerfish. We're off to a good start. Speaking of butterfly fish, there were loads of different butterfly species on drop two, including these lined butterfly fish. These are fairly common on the reefs here. Spots seven and eight go to these two species of unicorn fish, the spotted and the humpback. I'm not 100% sure what species this one is, but I'm going to assume it's a juvenile spotted for now. There was also another fish hidden amongst the unicorn fish. This guy is a hump-nosed big-eyed bream. For some reason, these guys never seem to want to get too close to the camera though. Now, when looking through the footage, I kept seeing these clouds drift past, and I had absolutely no idea what was going on until I saw this. Yes, that's right. You just witnessed a marine worm being eaten by a unicorn fish like a string of spaghetti. Gross. And it happened a few more times. This worm even seemed to split in half to try and double its chances. Although unfortunately, all this meant was a butterfly fish got one half and the triggers got the other. We also picked up a couple of other butterfly fish on this drop, including these black lit butterflies. There was also an orange striped emperor hiding in the crowd. Although I'm not sure I've seen these whilst diving before. The 12th species we recorded were these threadfin butterfly fish that were being accompanied by a household favorite, the Moorish Idol. So fish number 14 is this teardrop butterfly, but there's actually three other species of butterfly fish in this frame. Have a go and see if you can name them. Heading back to the drop one footage and the humpback snappers were starting to get a little bit more adventurous. The humpback snappers are a small species of snapper and much smaller than their cousin and fish number 15, the red snapper. There was also a huge semicircle angelfish swimming about. Although these guys are algae eaters, so they're never that interested in the bait. At some point though, I might try and set up a camera for the algae eaters. So drop a comment if you'd like to see me do that. This ornate emperor was also hiding amongst the school of humpback snappers and he brings the total fish count to 17 species. 13 to go. The red snapper didn't seem to want to get too close at first, although the humpback snappers were doing a really good job of pulling small pieces of fish out of the bait cage. I also spotted a small group of yellow margin triggerfish in the distance. These triggers, along with the titan triggerfish, can be super aggressive when brooding eggs, so it's usually a good idea to not get too close. As expected, it wasn't long before the red snapper gained enough confidence to get his jaws around the bait cage though. Check this out. Now, I've had some bad experiences with these red snappers in the past, so I always get a little bit nervous when they turn up. Check this out. After switching to these cylindrical bait cages, the snappers seem to have more trouble getting their jaws around them, so I think we're safe for now. All of a sudden, the red snapper got a bit nervous, and a big fish emerged from the blue. This guy is a big blublip snapper, and they're definitely king of the snappers, at least here anyway. Lurking behind the blublip snapper is species number 20, and our second grouper so far. This guy is a red mouth grouper, although he didn't seem to want to get close enough for us to get a good view. You can see how the humpbacks and the red snapper are very wary of the blubber lip. This one is pretty big though, at around 80 centimeters long.
So for those of you that are new to this channel, I'm dropping these baited cameras every week in search of big sharks and rays. And I'm actually looking for a five meter tiger shark at the moment. Also, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because we might have ticked another one off the hit list. There are also a pair of blub lips on the second drop. And you don't see this that often. Given how heavily these areas are fished, it's nice to know that there are still big snappers swimming around in the shallows. Similarly to the red snapper, it took the blubber lip a little bit of time to get his confidence up. But after a few close-ups, he too started chomping down on the bait cage. Whilst the blubber lip was about, a couple of other species showed up, including this titan triggerfish, and one of my favorite fish on the reef, the yellow lip emperor. As before, no prizes for working out how this one got his name. The cool thing about the yellow lips is that you almost never see them whilst diving, but usually always on the cameras, so they're clearly very smart. A couple of double spotted queenfish swam through the top of the screen, but we got a much better clip on the second drop. These fish can often be seen in small schools around the coast and are related to the Jackson Trevallies. Now there's so many species of fish in this next clip that I thought we'd do a little competition. So 30 seconds on the clock, see how many species you can name and I'll flash my score up at the end. I got nine and I'll flash them up on the screen now. If you beat me, let me know in the comments. Towards the end of drop one, another big predator emerged from the blue to challenge the bubble lip. This is a great barracuda. Again though, it was the second drop that picked up the best barracuda footage, including this hilarious clip. There's a few different species of barracuda on these reefs, but the great barracuda can be identified by their large underslung jaw and the black blotches on their flanks. These guys are pretty small ones though. Back to drop one and two bluefin trevally turned up to check out the camera before we hit the end of the hour. The trevallies always turn up, but never seem to want to hang around for long. My favourite yellow lip emperor also showed up again before being escorted off by the blubber lip, before another big emperor turned up, the long face emperor. It was also being followed by a much less athletic fish, the scrawled file fish. These guys can get absolutely massive though, up to about 75 centimetres in length. This pair of long face emperors spent a while checking out the bait cage and on a few occasions were showing off one of their coolest abilities. Check out how this emperor approaches the bait cage and is completely silver. It then instantly turns to a dark mottled green color when the second emperor swims into the frame, before returning back to silver again. I'm not exactly sure why these emperors do this, but I imagine it's a warning against competitors, as well as a sign of excitement. Other emperors go through similar colour changes as well. Check out how this yellow lip emperor also changes to a dark green colour before returning to silver and swimming off. Now, as well as the emperors, the snappers also change colour. This little humpback snapper has turned a vibrant red compared to his schoolmates and can be seen aggressively chasing them off. In this clip, he also gives the long face emperor a run for his money, despite the fact that the long face is probably about 20 times its size. A slightly more subtle color change takes place in the blubber lip snappers, that develop this dark black barring when excited. You can see how this contrasts to their usual silver color. Anyway, let's get back to the challenge. 
Two species left to find, and only four minutes to do it. Let's go. Before the drop one clip ended, this giant moray turned up, albeit not for very long. If you watch closely, you can actually see this moray being chased off by the titan triggerfish. Oh, and a big yellow boxfish also came into view. The pufferfish are similar in appearance to the boxfish, and we saw a few on drop two towards the end. This first one is called a blue spotted puffer. These guys can reach lengths of up to 70 centimeters and have big front teeth that help them crunch through the shells of crustaceans. The next is a black spotted pufferfish. And you guessed it, this one is a white spotted pufferfish. Now, although I wouldn't class these as a big reef species, we did also pick up some fantastic footage of a school of convict tanks. I actually saw these when picking up the camera, and there were literally thousands of them. These are a species of surgeon fish and have a scalpel-like appendage on the base of their tail that they use for defense. And with that, we're done. So, 32 fish found, challenge complete. So whilst I was recording this video, I actually dropped another camera on a slightly different spot. And as I hinted at earlier, we actually managed to record a new species on the hit list. Actually, I'll make you wait till next time.